Good evening. There's been a sharp rise in violent crime in schools across our region. The number of reported cases has doubled in the past year, with more than 600 cases reported to officers. It's causing concern amongst teachers and other staff. Well, Jeremy Stern is at Thames Valley Police's headquarters in Kidlington for us tonight. Uh, Jeremy, what are police saying about this? Well, Jerome, police say it's partly because of changes to how violence at schools is handled. Some cases that may have been dealt with by head teachers internally before are now being referred directly to the police. But I've been speaking to some senior figures in education today who are concerned that some schools could become more dangerous. Thousands of children are left in the care of Thames Valley schools, but how safe are they? As well as cases of pupils attacking each other, an education union says nationally four out of ten teachers have faced physical violence in the past year. We are concerned that there are more young people who are maybe bringing weapons into schools because maybe they are frightened or because of what they've seen on the television or what they've heard about. And so then they have the tendency maybe then to produce that knife or to threaten somebody with that knife because they have initially brought it in for protection. Police figures show a big rise in the number of reported violent crimes at schools. In 2013-14, 270 were recorded to police by staff at schools in the Thames Valley. The following year, that went up to 316. Last year, the number of offences reported to police rose to 634. Violence in schools is not a new problem. Education expert and former teacher John Howson was stabbed by a pupil in the 1970s. We need to drill down to find out what is going wrong so we can put in place uh, the right training and uh, alternatives to ensure that schools are safe places for everybody. But it's not just a Thames Valley problem. There have been increases across the country. Well, Thames Valley Police says it's working with head teachers on this. It's got 15 dedicated officers who visit schools. Part of their remit is to make sure that teenagers don't end up in prison after they've left the education system. Another challenge is to reassure parents that their children are safe once they've left them at the school gates. Jerome.